guys. Um, I'm sorry ahead of time about the lighting. It was a perfectly nice day until I got to the filming part of my day and it decided to get overcast and try to rain. So I'm going to try moving forward because I have things to do today and tomorrow. <laughs> but um, I'm here today with a review and first impression swatches of the new Sugar Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's gorgeous. Um, I know this is probably not exciting to most people because this is basically a re-release. Um, I don't know for sure which ones. I think Gumdrop is the only new color and the other three have been in other palettes. But I don't have them. And for me, this is probably definitely going to be worth it because this one. This is Marshmallow. Um, I, I stalked the Sweets palette because as soon as I saw it was a thing and that I wanted to buy it, it had sold out. I had like just missed it and I was searching around trying to find like a second hand version. I'd buy a palette from somebody finding a dupe and nothing was quite right and I couldn't find a good second hand one that I was willing to pay for. Like again, I'm not gonna pay full price with one that you've used most of it. That's not a fair choice. So I like stocked it and it was at the point where it was still up on the website but sold out and I'm like maybe you're going back maybe no never came back and then they came out with this one with marshmallow in it and I'm like I can do the thing I can have it because marshmallow just looked like the perfect color that I didn't have but I have a million colors so let's get to swatching so let's start with marshmallow and gumdrop oh they're very pretty so we're just gonna do them on the back of my hand yeah, see Marshmallow's this really nice, just duochrome white gold. Ooh, ooh. I don't know if you can... That's too washed out. I'm sorry. I will try to do swatches at a better time. But yeah, that's Gumdrop. And then let's get in on Butterscotch and Starburst. Also very pretty. Again, I'm sorry that you can't see them better. They're very pretty. The other thing that has really drawn me to this glow kit is that they're light colors. As you can see, I'm pale. And the layout of most of the other ones has kind of been like one light one, some mediums, and a dark one. Which is good from like a makeup artist perspective, but means I can't use them. Whereas from the swatches, I should be able to use all of these colors on my face. Which is good. Not that I couldn't give one away if I couldn't use it. So, due to my obsession, I want to put marshmallow on my face. So, I have the Tapered Highlighting Luxie 522 brush, and that's what I've been using to do my highlight lately. So let's just see how it goes. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but it's so pretty. blending out really nicely, which is the other thing I've been enjoying about this brush, is it kind of diffuses the highlight so you don't, you get shine but not as much, oh there we go, oh there we go, yeah, so that's just, that's something I wanted, I'm sure, somewhere in my collection I had a dupe, but I didn't have that to compare it to, so you know when you get like weird about something, you just, you need that one color. That was marshmallow for me, apparently. And I do feel so happy to have that on my face. So, I am going to try to do more looks and do the other three on my face. But today, this is marshmallow, and it is gorgeous. And I'm really happy, and I'm very excited. And I'm sure this would probably still work on medium tones. I am not skilled enough at, I'm not a makeup artist, I don't know how different colors are theoretically going to work with different skin tones, but I'm not sure this would be a good palette for somebody with really deep skin. I think these might be too stark, because you know, pale, pale. But I am currently very happy, so I will check back in with the other colors as we go through the week. Hi guys, it is the next day, and I did 
gumdrop today. And I don't know if you can see, but it's this gorgeous pink shift. Um, very similar to Pink Heart, only darker. So if you are medium to deep skin and you really wanted to get into uh, Pink Heart out of the Moonchild kit, this one. This gorgeous little gumdrop. Alright, so, um, and I'm wearing it with a Kindred blush from Tarte. So, so far, two for two. Love these colors. Hello, today we used um, Starburst over um, ColourPop Rain, which is the blush, and it's, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Super metallic, so if you want a subtle highlight, this is not for you, but I'm loving them. I have to go work now. Okay, so today we're wearing Butterscotch over uh, Kindred Blush from Tarte, and this is also very pretty, so, so far I'm feeling like this is a very good purchase. Very happy. Hi guys, I just wanted to check in um, at the end and do a little quick final thoughts on this. Um, I love them. It's, it's unfortunate because it would be nice if I didn't like these and I could send them back, but they all seem to work really well on my skin. They were all light enough. Um, and they're really pretty. They're so pretty. I was not expecting Gumdrop to be as unique as it is. But it's got a really cool shift on it. Marshmallow is gorgeous. Starburst. Like, they're all really, really pretty. I really like them. They wore really well. Um, I was a little worried that Gumdrop and or Butterscotch were going to be a little deep for my skin. But they worked just fine. So, I like it. And this is still something I consider a good purchase for myself. If you already have the three permanent shades, I'm not sure it'd be worth picking up the whole palette and having duplicates. But if you don't have them and you're looking at it, the quality is fantastic. It's a really good price per gram. It's vegan. It's cruelty-free. It's got the little leaping bunny on the back. Um, I really like it. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know down below what your favorite highlighters are and which ones you regret buying. So we can steer clear. See you guys next time.